Have you ever had a photo and you wish that you could blur the background so that you could focus just on what you thought was important in that particular photo? Here's a quick tip that shows you how to do that and it's one of the better ways that I've seen in being able to simulate a depth of field. So if you don't want to work on the background, go up to Layer and New Layer via Copy or Control J on a PC and that will bring a new layer so you can work on just that layer and if you decide you don't like the effect you can just throw away the layer and you don't have to worry about uh, having worked on your, your original photo. So the first step is from your layers palette and if your layers palette isn't visible go up to window and select layers or hit uh, function key 7 that will bring up your layers palette. Uh, next to the layers tab is the channels tab you want to select that and since this is a JPEG uh, picture, it's got a red, green, and a blue channel. Down here in the below that is the, the new channel icon. You click that and it'll automatically bring up what they call Alpha 1 channel. It'll automatically name it Alpha 1. Click the eyeball on next to the red, green, blue so that you can see your picture. And then go select a brush. I've got a brush here that's about 175 uh, hard edge brush and make sure you've got a black and white uh, for background and foreground. If you don't, just click this little uh, black-white symbol here and it'll actually create that for you to make sure you're on black and white. I like to start with white as my foreground and with the brush just start making sure that you're on the alpha channel. Start painting whatever you want to be in focus in their picture. Now I'm going to do this rather quickly just for the sake of this demonstration and obviously if you were doing your own you'd be much more careful but just so that you can see what the effect is um, I'll just call that good. So once you've got painted in everything that you want to be in focus you want to turn off your alpha channel select your red green blue and go back to your layers palette by clicking on the layers tab. When you're back there, you want to go up to the Filter menu, select Filter, Blur, and Lens Blur. This is a rather large dialog box. And when you come in, you want to make sure that your preview is checked, and Faster is, is good to work with. And for your depth map, um, click the down arrow box and select your Alpha 1 channel. Once that is selected, go down here to where it says Radius, and as you move this to the right, you're going to notice that the picture that I wanted uh, to be sharp is blurry. So, to do just the opposite effect, click the Invert bu box up here, and you'll notice here now that the background is what is being blurred. So, if you can have it a little bit blurry or you can blur it out considerably the further you move the slider to the right. And when, when you're happy with that just click OK. And it may take a, a few mo moments to process that. But it's a really effective way of simulating a depth of field and, and hiding items in the background. And that's what the picture, finished picture looks like. I think it's a pretty good method and it's one that I'll use quite often.